Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Kate. Today, as you've seen in the title, I'm running for class president. I am a junior right now, so I'm running for my senior year's class president. And this is going to be a vlog where you can see me reciting my speech and stuff like that. This is Zane, and he's running for president too. And I thought I'd start, sorry, I have to turn off the music or else I'm gonna get copyrighted. <laughs> sorry. So, um, we, today we have our first meeting for candidates or something like that. And Zane has been our pre class president for like years because he was in middle school. I don't, I don't you were remember. in like middle school and oh, no. high school. True? So I'm so. a little bit concerned, but. Yeah, but he has a lot of experience. That's what I hear. Yeah, he has a lot of experience, but we're gonna, we have to change things up because our whole student council is made up of Asian yeah. boys. And I love Asian boys, not in a weird way, but we need more diversity. <laughs> so, I, I agree. You know? I agree. So we need like an Asian girl. Um, I am kind of nervous because there's like 10 other people running and a lot of them are really popular and I don't really have like a lot of friends I feel like so it's kind of like a popularity contest sort of thing but I don't know I wrote my speech and it's very like non it's like not your average type of speech I guess I'm gonna try to talk it out like like how I'm talking right now because I don't want it to be super like speechy because personally like that just like does not speak to me when someone is talking really like formally and stuff so yeah um, you guys can enjoy that and I will probably pause the video while I'm going through my speech to explain some stuff because you might not understand it since you don't go to my school so yeah um, stay tuned for that one like and subscribe equals one vote and prayer so go do that please okay so now Caitlin is going to give my speech a listen and there are other people in here, but hopefully like it's fine, you know? I'm actually kind of getting a little bit nervous because... You got this! Okay, so at first, I was like, kind of whatever about it, but then I'm the type of person that when I get into things, then like, I want to go all the way, right? Because I don't want to like, half-ass something. So, then I, yeah, I'm like, more committed to it now, but I mean, at the same time, like, it's fine if people don't, if I don't win because I have a lot of other things I can do, so it's fine, but like, I mean, like, since I'm doing this, I want to win, obviously, but a lot of people have a lot of friends that are running, and they're, like, super popular, and that's not me. Kind of, like, whoever has the most friends, because it's not like I don't have friends, but just, like, I'm not super close with everyone, so they wouldn't pick me over, like, someone that they might be closer with. So, I don't know. We'll see how things go. I have a nice hair wave today. I have no wave. <laughs> Caitlin just cut her hair, but yeah, you can't like, even tell because, like, no. what? <laughs> her cut hair is still longer than my non cut hair. Okay, ready? I'm ready. <laughs> 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 yeah, I just need to work on like talking really really fast because my speech is 145 and it's supposed to be 130 so And that last part though. Yeah, my finishing line is gonna be so good. <laughs> they might think I'm a little off the rocker, but I kind of am so it's fine Okay, so I will see you guys at like 1130 ish when I have assembly and that's when I'm gonna do it and Maxwell is gonna film for me Maxwell is the um, person that said what if you trip and fall in a puddle um, in my other videos so yeah if you watch that video then you'll remember <laughs> okay goodbye Mwah. hey guys so I'm walking to assembly now it's maybe right over there and I'm doing my speech and I'm really nervous now <sighs> I always do these things to me but I kind of love it but I kind of hate myself at the same time but that's fine I'm looking nice and covered got my ID on and yeah goodbye wish me luck one like and subscribe equals one vote and prayer, so. Hey guys and girls, although the ladder was missing in our student body last year, and maybe some years before, my name is Kate Lee and I am running for class president. As you may have noticed, there are so many people running this year, and it's because it's senior year and we finally decided we were tired of complaining and wanted to become the change we wish to see, like not having an all-male cabinet. All love boys, but what about the girls' opinions on how prom is going to be? Right here, I feel like I should have paused and waited longer so everyone could clap and like build up some hype, you know what I mean? But I was short on time, so I 
didn't do that, but I feel like I should have just done that because no one was timing me anyways. Now I'm going to brag about myself and why I would be the best candidate to make our senior grade and senior year great and memorable while being your personal life coach so you don't make any regrettable mistakes before graduation. I'm really nervous right now because you guys are all down there and I'm up here and I thought this was going to be really fun and I wanted to work on challenging myself more this year. As you may have seen, I asked to avoid a function in front of the entire boat and so I thought this would be another great challenging thing to do, but then I'm really scared now and I'm kind of regretting it, but at the same time, I kind of thrive and love this. So don't you love that I have multiple personalities? This means that I can relate to all and of all of you and any and every personality that you may have. <laughs> I'm also a super capable person who will run after what I want and not stop. Do you guys remember when we had silent hours in the library in sophomore year? Haha, <laughs> throwback! I was the person who took initiative, made the petition, and walked around for hours in the library silently holding a sign that said, sign this petition if you don't like silent hours, and now we know. So now I'm going to explain what the silent hours are. So I'm in the library right now, and basically there was a time in sophomore year when the librarians thought it would be a good idea for us to have silent hours where we couldn't even whisper to the person next to you for three hours every day. And the thing is, like, our library is actually called a learning commons, so we don't do, like, library things in here. Like, no one is here to borrow a book. Everyone just sits around and, like chills and does homework and stuff and it's a place it's like the only place on our campus where you can do that and not have to sit in the hot sun or the pouring rain but the librarians don't understand us at all and okay well not all of them some of them are cool but some of them just like they make it their life mission to make us miserable it seems like and even if you want to like, it was just, it's just horrible. Like, even now, things are bad, but things used to be even worse with silent hours, and I just, like, did not stand for that, and so I made it a really big deal, and I made a petition that everyone signed, and now we don't have silent hours, but yeah, it's just, it was, it was a mess. So, if you ever have any issues or suggestions, hit me up, and you know, I will do everything to make sure your voice is heard. I'm also a really authentic and raw person unafraid to be real with you, flaws and all, because this is what I got and this is what you will see. So we're leaving fake people behind in junior year. Oh. I just wanted to leave you guys with one of my favorite lines from who knows where, XD low rar means I love you and dinosaur. <laughs> I love you and I hope to see you next year standing at the mic over there. Hey, so they had a lot of other announcements, so... I'm just feeling really tired now. I want to go to bed, but I can't because we have a full day ahead of us. So now I'm going to go and get lunch again. I hope you guys enjoyed that little part of the speech, and we'll see what happens with that. Um, I don't know. I feel like I could have done it with more, like, energy or passion because I feel like I was kind of, I felt like I was being boring and, like, too... Speechy, which I didn't like. Hey, good job, Hi. Speech, girl. Thanks. I felt like I was too like speechy with it, so I didn't really like that, but eh, it's okay, whatever. So I just realized that I was trying to do my outro, but then I realized I can't because I need to update you guys on how it goes, right? So I'm gonna vlog in probably whenever the vote the voting is and I'll keep you guys updated. So stay tuned. Hey guys, so today's the day of our first round of voting and I'm about to go vote right now, so yeah. I'm voting for myself and hopefully that's like allowed. Hey guys, so I just got the email that I did not get enough votes to advance to Friday's final election. So that means I'm done. I feel kind of cold in my body. I think it's because like it didn't really hit me yet and yeah, I don't know. I guess I wasn't like super invested in it, but like, you know how like when you say you're gonna do something and then you wanna do it really well, right? Cause if you're gonna do it, then I don't wanna like half it, right? I mean, it is a little bit disappointing that I didn't win, but like, I don't feel like overly sad about it because honestly, I was thinking about how I would struggle to juggle everything because editing honestly takes up a lot of my life now. And then I have my jewelry brand and I feel like I would be a little bit too stressed and then with college apps so I think that this might be for the best 
that I don't get it because I feel like I might like be too stressed out and you guys know how I'm always stressed and nervous about like everything so <laughs> I think this is just probably is a sign from God that I need to chill and stop putting on too many things. Honestly, it was really nerve wracking to I guess put myself out there in front of everyone and just as you can tell my speech was really unconventional and quite weird but I feel like I kind of liked it because it was a really good like representation of me and I guess I'm just a little bit off the rockers but y'all already knew that unless you're new to my channel but yeah um I don't know I guess it did take a bunch of guts to go up in front of my whole class and do that so it was definitely kind of fun I enjoyed it but at the same time, it does suck that like I put a lot of effort into writing like a bomb speech and honestly, I'm really proud of my speech. So that does suck that I didn't get voted on. But I mean, as I mentioned before, it's not like unexpected though because the people that got voted on have a lot more friends than I do. So like so many people said that they liked my speech and I honestly really enjoyed giving out the speech. I think that was my favorite part of this whole process and I probably enjoyed just giving a speech more than I want to be a president. <laughs> because I just think it's really fun and I think that would be the best part if I were elected just because I can talk in front of everyone and I feel like I'm just kind of into that so I guess I learned something new that I actually quite enjoy public speaking if it's like this type of like talking about myself like chill kind just not giving some presentation on like energy renewal or something because then I get really just like Ugh. whoever does win I'm excited for them because I definitely well, most of the people running are my friends, so like I would be very happy for them if they want anyway, so. Hey guys, it's me editing right now. I'm wearing another white shirt, but don't worry, it's a different white shirt. Actually, it's not. I'm wearing the same white shirt. Uh, yeah, cool. <laughs> That's Caitlin, by the way. So I just wanted to give a quick shout out to everybody that voted for me because I forgot to talk about that, but thank you if you voted for me. And I heard like a lot of really, really nice feedback about people like my speech, and you made me feel very loved and appreciated and I appreciate to you too and I love you and so yeah if you go to my school I just want to say thank you and I love you and, and now we can resume the video it's also a really really good learning experience type of thing so like when you have like a college essay or something or you need to write about something for a supplement and you have to say that what is something that you did that really like what is something that you like failed in and how did you learn from that and pick yourself back up so if i ever get a prompt like that then i got it because i feel like i always struggle on thinking of things that i do because i kind of like fail in everything but like not everything is like writable but i feel like this is a really good writable topic so you know if you're thinking about running for president at your school but you're scared of failing like i would say just go for it because if it doesn't work out at least you learn from it and you still were able to give a speech in front of all your wonderful classmates and you have something to write about for your college supplement so like i totally recommend it okay so this is me editing and i just found out that it's two boys that are up and i'm friends with them and i like them both but just like i wanted there to be one girl why is there just never any girls that are president like we don't have it in the real american u.s government and then we can't even have it in our freaking school which just kind of annoys me like why like what, what i just don't understand you know but it's fine you know we love america okay so this is like my final update so you know how we had two elections so one was on wednesday to figure out who the two people were gonna be and then friday was to pick which one of the two was gonna be the actual president but i got eliminated like in the preliminary round but the two boys on Friday literally tied, which is so crazy because what are the chances that they got the exact same number of votes? And they even recounted like three or four times and I'm pretty sure it's not rigged. So they're gonna do another election probably sometime next week because a lot of people didn't even vote. So we're gonna see how that goes and yeah. I don't even know how to end this because it's like kind of awkward. This is like asking my crush out, but except this didn't work out and it's just kind of like <laughs> cringe awkward if you made it to here oops <laughs> if you made it to here and then you found out and it's like so yeah that happened i know this probably wasn't what you wanted to see happen in the video but thanks for coming through and watching it and i hope you guys still enjoyed it and don't forget to give it 
one like and one subscribe equals one prayer for me so that I'll be okay, but actually though, I'll be fine. So so yeah, if you wanna follow me on my Instagram, right here, at Cake Telly, and I will see you guys in my next video. Hopefully with me doing something more successful. Bye, love you.